senator. Well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> so you're breaking up with me because I'm too... blonde? I know how this looks, but believe it or not, this clip is a pretty good example of how Hollywood treats femininity. The perception of femininity as negative has its roots in second wave feminism. The newfound concept of gender equality brought ideas into questions such as gender roles and women in the workplace. Working women adopted a more masculine appearance in order to be seen as equal to their male counterparts. Traditionally feminine symbols such as makeup, high heels, and skirts became symbols of oppression. This evolved into today's view of feminine women. The modern dream girl is one of the boys. She doesn't wear makeup because she doesn't need it, doesn't put a lot of effort into her appearance, isn't high maintenance, wears casual clothes, and has traditionally male interests such as sports, fast food, or cars. In fact, the value of a character as a strong female lead is often measured by the amount of masculine traits she takes on. Nice headers. You've got a high-rise double pump carburetor, that's... Pretty impressive. The dream girl's antithesis is the popular feminine queen bee. In Hollywood, her feminine traits are often linked to pettiness and or stupidity. Take Karen Smith from Mean Girls or Heather Chandler from Heathers. Perhaps the most archetypal example of this is Sharpay Evans from Disney's High School Musical franchise. Sharpay's costuming, featuring sequins, bright colors, and lots of hot pink, visually sets her apart from the characters that are meant to be likable, showing how these overtly feminine traits are trademarks of a persona that is meant to be disliked and even ridiculed. This is a sentiment echoed by the characters of the film who even openly mock her. Isn't Troy Bolton just the hottie super bum? Oh <laughs> you know what she probably spent the holidays with, she always does? Well, how's that? Shopping for mirrors. Oh. <laughs> Additionally, the essence of what defines a feminine woman has evolved in recent years. The advent of the internet means that to be feminine, there is an inherent element of surveillance. One example of this is reality TV. Paris Hilton, the OG Kim K, starred in a reality show called The Simple Life. The impact of The Simple Life is undeniable. However, even Hilton herself has admitted that the show portrays an exaggerated stereotype of femininity. In an interview for Vogue, she said, I felt like I was this kind of fantasy Barbie princess fairy mermaid unicorn. Even though I was playing into a character, I know most people aren't really like that. In the digital era, we have our own equivalent to reality TV social media. Social media platforms use an algorithm that uses a combination of AI and external personal data to determine what content is likely to have widespread appeal. This creates an echo chamber where attractive women are pushed to the front and then amplified by individuals mimicking the content they consume. This causes a phenomenon known as beauty overstimulation, when virtual overconsumption of attractive people leads to a warped perception of what the average person looks like. In a study by psychologist Douglas Kendrick, when a randomly selected mix of women and men were given photographs of average real-life women, they rated the women a 5 out of 10 on average. However, if the subjects had been overstimulated beforehand using social media, the average dropped to 2 out of 10. Also, the standard for attractiveness has been raised with increasing accessibility to plastic surgery and photo manipulation software. According to a UK survey published in the World Psychiatry Journal, one in four girls said they had edited photos of themselves to change their appearance due to concerns about body image. A study by Case24 reported that 71% of those surveyed said they use Facetune. Out of respondents from London, an alarming 81% said they wouldn't post a picture without touching it up first. The negative mental health implications are indisputable. In a 2018 study, 87.73% of women reported that they regularly compared their bodies to images they saw in the media, and 50.57% of women reported that their bodies compared unfavorably to images they saw in the media. CPS reported social media users were 33% more likely to experience depression and 31% more likely to attempt suicide in a 2017 study. These effects also take their greatest toll on females. According to data collected in 2018 by the U.S. National Survey on Drug Use and Health, among teenagers, girls were over three times more likely to experience major depression than boys. The solution to this crisis is the media destigmatization of femininity. The root of the problem is that femininity has become exclusive from feminism, and this is therefore what must be addressed. In short, femininity and traditionally masculine traits such as intelligence and ambition are not mutually exclusive. Let's take a look at Sharpay Evans, done right. In many ways, Elle Woods is the same character as Sharpay. She is blonde, 
privileged, pretty, popular, passionate about what she does, and has a penchant for hot pink. However, the way they are depicted is entirely different. What makes Sharpay different than Elle is that Elle's ambition and hard work are rewarded, whereas Sharpay's are punished while her male counterparts with similar personalities triumph. Elle Woods does a fantastic job of reconciling beauty with brains and shows that sometimes there is merit to being a girly girl. Elle, how did you know that Chutney was lying? Because she's brilliant, of course. The rules of hair care are simple and finite. Any Cosmo girl would have known. 